We have an update from former UFC welterweight and glory MMA head coach James Krause, who's sort of been under the limelight for the last little bit after his alleged involvement in gambling in the UFC. This was a huge story a few years back. And shout out to Fight Opinion, who found this Facebook post. We're going to read it right here and read some of the comments as well, because they sort of give us a few clues as to what Krause is up to these days. Um, Fight Opinion says, in a Saturday morning post attributed on Facebook to James Krause, the post claims that Mr. Krause allegedly is $5 million in debt, but that it is real estate based and that he's supposedly involved in a real estate coaching group was there a gambling inquiry or not close question mark of course he's referring to uh, the big scandal that happened a few years ago uh, when was this I'm actually losing my dates here a little bit uh, 2023 so uh, basically uh, last year um, all this came to, to fruition uh, it feels like it's been longer but um, uh, James Krause uh, one of the best coaches in MMA uh, ran one of the best gyms in MMA at Glory MMA if you think of some of the names that were through there including Brandon Moreno you had Grant Dawson at one point was there um, just a lot of notable fighters and Krause was really uh, sort of considered, uh, like I said, one of the top coaches in MMA. And then this fight with Derek Minner comes out. There's some lying irregularity. Um, and then immediately people uh, think that Krause is involved. And it turns out um, there was some involvement there. So uh, again, uh, this article sort of summarizes it really well. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. For those who don't, got to do a quick summary here. Um, and it's one of the biggest falls from grace in MMA history, I would say as well, too, just because Krause, again, considered one of the sharpest minds, but involved in this really, really bad scandal. And think of all the gambling stuff that's come out uh, in other sports now. I know just this past week we had the, the issue with the Toronto Raptors player uh, who's allegedly uh, betting as well um, so yeah a lot of a lot of this is coming out but uh, that that's basically what's going on with Kraus and um We'll just read Krause's post here. It says, I'm over $5 million in debt. And, and what a fight opinion means here is, is he referring to, like, is Krause talking about his debt in, in related to gambling? Like, you know, there's lawyers, there's all types of things uh, Krause can't work, I would assume, too, if he's under investigation. So there, there's a lot of different uh, things when you first see this, you know, $5 million figure. I think a lot of us jump to the conclusion that this was something to do with the the investigation that he's, that he's being under right now. So uh, we'll read the post here. It says, I'm over $5 million of debt and don't lose a second of sleep over it. That's because I learned a few things along the way inflation if you do nothing with your money you're losing it due to the dollar not being worth what it was even a year ago cash flow all my properties have money left over all the bills are paid monthly monthly leverage uh, because i have equity in my properties i'm able to leverage that equity and create lines of credit or cash to buy more property once i learned how debt worked that changed my life if they keep printing money, then why wouldn't you use debt? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So you can, sort of, so he's basically just talking about real estate. And, and you'll notice here they're referring to a real estate group. This sounds kind of similar to the gambling group, the 1% that he was running. Uh, he had a discord that he was charging people for. And this is where the whole issue came to fruition with Kraus was, you know, is he, I mean, I guess he was to a certain degree, was he giving out inside information, which you're not allowed to do. So first off, if you're a UFC fighter, I mean, I know they really put the rule in there before, but even prior to all that, it's really just not a good look. Any fighter being involved in betting when it comes to fights. Um, I know we've had other cases in the past. We had Justin James. If you guys remember the former UFC fighter betting his entire purse against Charles Rosa, then he ends up getting robbed in that fight by the judges and ends up losing his entire purse because he, he bet it all on himself. Um, but yeah, with Kraus, there was, you know, I, I guess sort of the selling point as well with his group was that he, you know, here's a lot of things in MMA and that's, you know, that's illegal. You can't do that. You can't, you know, charge people money if, for being sort of an expert on things. And again, this is all alleged. OK, I don't know if any of this has all actually come to fruition, but um, allegedly this is what he was doing was sort of feeding insider information and making bets off knowledge that he already had just from talking to coaches and th seeing things at the gym and all that. But yeah, it brings up an interesting question. So I, I think, you know, sort of my first takeaway from this is that uh, it sounds like Krauss is not in jail. I, I just assumed he had been. That's why we hadn't heard from him. Um, because the evidence from this ESPN article and other things that have come out seemed very overwhelming that basically he was screwed. So I think we know now that Kraus not in jail. Maybe he's on some, some sort of protection. But like they mentioned here in the thread as well, um, the obvious question, and, and that I first thought about, and even mine as well, if someone was supposedly under state Nevada or federal gambling investigation, would they be allowed to get a real estate loan or bank loan from credit union? Would such an inquiry show up in a background check? That's a great question. Um, so I don't know. Like, I really don't. Or, or did or did he get off of these charges and maybe he was just used as a scapegoat and they felt that the punishment was enough where he can't be? Because that was the whole thing, too. I forgot to mention that. Once the, the allegations came out, I mean, this this turned into a big snowball effect. No fighters that were training at Glory MMA could compete in the UFC. Um, no, uh, no, no uh, fighters that were coached by Kraus, sorry, should, should, uh, are, are allowed to be in the UFC and all that. So that, that affected their business big time. And then, you know, so many other things. Kraus had to shut down his Discord, his YouTube channel. There was a lot of things that were impacted because of this. 
Um, now, obviously, he needs to make a living and he can't really do it in fighting because he's basically been blacklisted. So real estate seems like a natural progression. My understanding was as well that Krauss was involved in real estate even while he was coaching. So it seems sort of natural that that's sort of the way he would go. But it is a great question here. Like this would suggest and again, not a legal expert here by any means, not going to pretend to be, uh, you know, part of the law and order cast or anything like this. But um like it doesn't sound like he got in any sort of major trouble that's preventing him from doing other things because i would think getting a real estate license or or um you know getting loans like the post here suggests if you have you're under investigation you're probably not going to have a lot of doors open for you if, if you're dealing with something like this so that's very interesting uh, mike russell chimes, chimes in still open i was told by investigators that both the fbi and nevada gaming control are investigating Kraus and all other betting related tips related to other individuals in the sport they received including eyewitnesses accounts of managers and matchmakers cashing bets that's an interesting thing that you should keep an eye on as well i've been hearing some stuff about that too about managers and matchmakers some weird stuff going on there with the betting thing but this betting thing is getting bigger and bigger like obviously i mean just speaking generally um um, betting in, in, in sports is, is skyrocketed. Um, I know even here in Canada, uh, we're starting to see more sports books get legalized. It's everywhere in advertising. It's sort of like second nature. ESPN now has a betting service, which is so interesting. Um, so I feel like with this coming out, they almost wanted to use, and I'm not excusing Krauss for anything that, that he's allegedly done, but you know, he seems like a sort of like a, you know, sort of, sort of the example to use of like telling fighters, you can't bet, you can't do any sort of stuff like this. And it's happened in other sports. Like I mentioned, we had the NBA thing last week. There was the NHL player, Shane Pinter who was suspended by the Ottawa Senators or by the league, I should say, for uh, allegedly being involved in betting. How about the Shohei Otani thing that's going on in baseball? Like, it's everywhere right now. So um, I, I think, you know, my, my guess would be uh, you know, kind of what Russell's saying here is I think he probably still is under investigation. I think because if I had to just guess, I think because he hasn't actually been charged with anything, he's got to make a living somehow. So they're kind of going to let him kind of do what he wants. But I think this stuff takes time. Like, again, I think it's going to take a while. And like I mentioned, this story here just came out last January. So not this past January, January before. It seems like there's sort of a lot to unpack here. And it's not something that can just be figured out in, in, in a short, uh, short amount of time here. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep tabs on this. But again, this is the first time we've seen anything from James Krause since basically... The, the news came down that his fighters couldn't compete in the UFC. So this is huge. So it's what, March 30th? That would have been what, in 2000, early 2023, around there that, that we heard about that. Actually, let me let me just Google that. Um, Glory MMA Fighters Bard. James, uh, yeah, so this was in December. Okay, so it was about the same time then. Uh, whoops, bloody elbow, obviously. Their articles are gone, but... Um, yeah, James Krause selling ownership. So all this happened in December of 2022. So this article is 2023. So I guess I guess late 2022 is when this would have taken place. So I think there's probably still stuff to figure it out, and that it's still stuff to figure out, and that's maybe what what hasn't happened. But uh, but I don't know. I I mean again, I I, I have no no sort of idea of where this is going to be headed. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if anything does come out. Cause we really haven't heard anything since basically this article. I think there's very little, and let me know if I'm wrong here. I, I really have not seen anything in the news, even talking to managers, fighters, coaches, you hear stuff behind the scenes. I've really heard barely anything about this. So like I said, this is the first sort of public thing that we've seen dealing with James Krause, where he's actually posting something. And again, they're very clear in the tweet here, and I agree with them. This might not be him posting this. This could be someone that, you know, oftentimes when you see a, a like a Facebook page, like you can see the verified tab. This is a, uh, I don't think this is an actual like Facebook uh, individual profile. Looks like more of like a fan page or business account. So someone could be posting this for him. Um, so that's the other thing too, to sort of keep in mind here with this post. But again, got a little bit of evidence that James Krause at least being involved in real estate uh, which doesn't surprise me a ton. And last thing I'll mention on here, because I have seen people in the past sort of bring this up. Uh, yes, James Krause and I did do a podcast a couple years ago. Um, I, I never suspected any sort of illegal or weird stuff going on here with Krause uh, while we did the show. He was always great to me. I got nothing against James Krause. There's some people who think that me doing these videos is somehow me like turning my back on him. It's like, no, it's news. I have to talk about it. I'm a journalist. It's my job to cover all aspects of things. So that's what we're doing here today. We're just talking about this because um, it just came out this morning and I think it's, it's relevant to get into but i'm not taking any one side on anything i'm just reporting the facts and uh talking a little bit about um you know where where things are headed uh with mma betting and, and everything else so so that's kind of my thoughts on that so i want to know what you guys think in the comment section below um what are sort of your thoughts on this new post here from kraus do you think he's in trouble do you think that you know like like what do you what like kind of give me your opinion on what you think is going on with all this and, and the post we just got would love to hear your opinion on this follow me on twitter tiktok instagram at lynch on sports i'm james lynch thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time